All right, let's get right into it because your financial future is not going to wait. We're living in 2025. If you're still managing your money like it's 2015, you are seriously, and I mean seriously, leaving a ton of money on the table. The landscape has completely changed. Technology isn't just a part of our lives, it's the core of our financial strategies. From the way we spend with our credit cards to how we invest in brand new asset classes, every single aspect has been supercharged by innovation. Ignoring these changes is like deciding to walk to your destination when everyone else is taking a self-driving hyperloop. You'll get there eventually, maybe, but you'll be exhausted and way behind everyone else. It's time to wake up and smell the decentralized coffee. The old advice of just save more than you spend is still true. That's the foundation, but it's ridiculously incomplete. In 2025, the game is about leverage efficiency and automation. We have tools at our fingertips that our parents could only dream of. We can leverage credit card points to travel for free, protect our entire net worth with precisely tailored insurance policies bought online in minutes, and even use artificial intelligence to trade cryptocurrencies while we sleep. The combination of these three pillars, credit insurance AI-powered investing is the new secret sauce for building wealth. It's not about working harder for your money, it's about making your money work smarter and harder for you, 24-7. Let's talk about credit cards, because for the love of all that is financially savvy, you need to be using them correctly. In 2025, a credit card is not just a piece of plastic for buying things you can't afford. That's the 1990s mindset and it's a trap. Instead, think of it as a financial multi-tool. Its primary function for a smart user is not borrowing, but transacting. You should be using it for every single purchase you were already going to make with cash or a debit card. Gas groceries utility bills your morning iced coffee. Why? Because using a debit card is like getting nothing in return. It's a one-way transaction. A credit card gives you rewards, purchase protection extended warranties and builds your credit history all for free. The golden rule, the absolute non-negotiable law of using credit cards, is to always pay your statement balance in full every single month. No exceptions. Not ever. The moment you carry a balance, you start paying interest, and that interest will instantly wipe out any rewards you earned and then some. Set up automatic payments for the full statement balance from your checking account. This is the single most important step. It makes the whole system work for you, not against you. This way you get all the upside, the points, the perks, the protection, with zero downside. Once you've mastered paying your balance in full, it's time to dive into the really fun part, the rewards. Credit card rewards are essentially a rebate on your life. Banks are in a fierce competition for your business, and they are willing to pay you to use their card. These rewards come in two main flavors, cashback points. Cashback is the simplest. You get a percentage of your spending back as a statement credit or a direct deposit. It's straightforward, it's easy, and it's literally free money. A simple strategy is to have a flat rate card that gives you 2% cash back on everything. This serves as a great foundation for any wallet. Points on the other hand are where you can find some truly incredible value, but they require a bit more effort. These points like Chase Ultimate Rewards, American Express Membership Rewards Capital One Miles can be redeemed for cash back, but that's usually the worst way to use them. Their real power comes from transferring them to airline and hotel partners. For example, 100,000 points might get you $1,000 in cash back. But if you transfer those same 100,000 points to an airline partner during a promotion, you could potentially book a business class flight to Europe that would have cost you $5,000 in cash. This is how people you see on Instagram are constantly traveling in luxury. They're not all millionaires. Many are just masters of the points game. The key to maximizing points is flexibility and research. Your job is to read, learn, and then apply it to your travel goals. All right, let's switch gears to something that isn't as flashy as free flights, but is infinitely more important, insurance. I know, I know, nobody likes talking about insurance. It feels like you're just throwing money away every month for something you hope you'll never use. But that's exactly the point. You're not buying a product, you're buying protection, you're buying peace of mind. Think of insurance as a financial bodyguard for your net worth. You can spend years hustling, saving and investing to build your wealth. Then one single unlucky event, a car accident, a house fire a lawsuit can wipe it all out in an instant. Insurance is the firewall that stands between your hard-earned money and financial catastrophe. In 2025, the way we buy and manage insurance is incredibly efficient. Gone are the days of spending hours in a stuffy agent's office. Now you can compare quotes from dozens of providers online in minutes using aggregators and AI-powered recommendation tools. This transparency forces companies to be more competitive with pricing. 
a huge win for you. The goal of insurance isn't to make you rich, it's to prevent you from becoming poor. It's defensive, not offensive. You're transferring risk of a massive, unaffordable loss to an insurer in exchange for a small, predictable premium. One of the best bargains in the financial world. The fundamental principle you need to grasp is the concept of risk management. So, what insurance do you actually need? Let's break down the absolute must-haves. First and foremost is health insurance. In the United States, medical debt is a leading cause of bankruptcy. A single trip to the emergency room or an unexpected surgery can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Without insurance, that's coming directly out of your pocket. Getting a decent health insurance plan through your employer or the marketplace is non-negotiable. Next up, auto insurance if you own a car, renters or homeowners insurance. These are often required by law or your lender, but you should have them regardless. For auto insurance, don't just get the state minimum liability coverage. That might only be $25,000. Modern cars are expensive to repair and medical bills are even more so. If you cause a serious accident, that minimum will be exhausted instantly. You should have liability coverage of at least $100,000 per person, $300,000 per accident, $100,000 for property damage. Now the two most overlooked but critically important types, disability insurance and term life insurance. Your single greatest asset is your ability to get up every day and earn an income. Disability insurance protects that income. If you get sick or injured and can't work for an extended period, it replaces a portion of your paycheck. If you have anyone who depends on your income, a spouse, children, even aging parents, you need term life insurance. Now for the topic that gets everyone excited and honestly, a little bit nervous. Cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence. Let's be very clear from the start. This is the most speculative and high-risk part of your financial plan. You should only ever invest money in crypto that you are fully prepared to lose. I mean it. If the thought of your crypto investment going to zero would cause you to lose sleep, you have too much invested. With that disclaimer out of the way, the potential rewards in this space are, well, unlike anything in traditional finance, and in 2025 AI is making it more accessible and in some ways more strategic for the average person to participate. So, what is the big deal with crypto anyway? At its core, cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, represents a decentralized form of digital money. It's not controlled by any single government or bank, which is a pretty powerful concept. But, beyond just being money, platforms like Ethereum have enabled a whole new world, decentralized finance, or DeFi NFTs other applications. The technology is still very new and volatile, kind of like the early days of the internet. There's a lot of hype and unfortunately a lot of scams, but there's also genuine, game-changing innovation happening. For a diversified portfolio in 2025, having a small allocation, say 1-5% to of your total investments, to this asset class is a calculated risk that could have an asymmetric upside. This is where AI comes into the picture and really changes the game for retail investors. The crypto markets are famously volatile and operate 24-7 all over the world. Let's pull back the curtain on how these AI crypto trading bots actually function, because it's not magic, it's just math and computing power. At the most basic level, a trading bot is a piece of software that executes trades automatically based on a set of predefined rules. A simple bot might be programmed to buy Bitcoin when its price crosses above its 50-day moving average and sell when it crosses below. This is a classic trend-following strategy. The bot connects to your exchange account, like Coinbase Binance. It has permission to place trades but not to withdraw your funds, a key security feature. Where AI takes this to the next level is in the complexity and adaptability of those rules. Instead of an if-this-then-that rule, an AI bot can use machine learning models. These models are fed vast amounts of historical data. Price charts, trading volumes, order book data, sentiment of tweets mentioning a specific coin. The AI learns to identify complex patterns that precede price moves. For example, a specific volume pattern, plus positive social sentiment, plus an on-chain metric, can indicate a 70% probability the price will increase in the next hour. The bot then executes a trade based on that probability. There are several strategy types. Grid trading, placing buy and sell orders at intervals to profit from volatility. Arbitrage, scanning prices across exchanges. These trades happen in milliseconds far faster than a human. Now we get to the main event. Combining these three powerful tools into a single cohesive financial strategy. This is where you go from just managing your money to truly optimizing it. 
It's about creating a system where each component supports and enhances the others. Smart credit card use, proper insurance, a speculative AI crypto play. But when you weave them together, a powerful synergy emerges. Secure base of insurance, value generating framework of credit, high growth peak of speculative investment. It's a holistic approach to your entire financial life. Let's start with the foundation. Your insurance is the bedrock. It protects your core assets and your income stream from catastrophic loss. This gives you the confidence and the financial stability to take calculated risks elsewhere. Next, you integrate your credit card strategy into your daily life. Insurance premiums, groceries, gas should be paid with a high reward credit card and of course paid off in full each month. This turns your... Why? Because using a debit card is like getting nothing in return. It's a one-way transaction. A credit card gives you rewards, purchase protection, extended warranties, and builds your credit history all for free. The golden rule, the absolute non-negotiable law of using credit cards, is to always pay your statement balance in full every single month. No exceptions. Not ever. The moment you carry a balance, you start paying interest. And that interest will instantly wipe out any rewards you earned and then some. Set up automatic payments for the full statement balance from your checking account. This is the single most important step. It makes the whole system work for you, not against you. This way you get all the upside, the points, the perks, the protection, with zero downside. Once you've mastered paying your balance in full, it's time to dive into the really fun part, the rewards. Credit card rewards are essentially a rebate on your life. Banks are in a fierce competition for your business, and they are willing to pay you to use their card. These rewards come in two main flavors, cashback points, Cashback is the simplest. You get a percentage of your spending back as a statement credit or a direct deposit. It's straightforward, it's easy, and it's literally free money. A simple strategy is to have a flat rate card that gives you 2% cash back on everything. This serves as a great foundation for any wallet. Points on the other hand are where you can find some truly incredible value, but they require a bit more